what I want to do with this video is to show you how are you going to use Arduino simulator and we were going to t talk about building circuits and write some code let us assume we don't have any Arduino development board at the moment to build some cool projects like maybe a cool project like a robot that can be able to clean our house or you want to build an electronic device that can sense the temperature of the surroundings and we will tell us every hour or every day through Facebook or Twitter so we want we want those uh, kind of projects <coughs> so probably you are thinking whether you will buy this Arduino development board or not and maybe you are afraid of you won't be able to learn then your money will be wasted or you have some other re reasons which I will leave it to you anyway <coughs> if you don't have the Arduino board at this moment we can still build circuits and test it using the simulator and uh, here we are at the Tinkercad official website we will use this as our simulator Arduino simulator like we have a development board like we have an Arduino board with us so that we can build circuits without the need of the actual Arduino board this one we don't need this at the moment alright so last time <coughs> Tinkercad is only an online design tool that if you want to build 3D model toys and project prototypes you can uh, you may do so it's either you can use it for your personal or your business use so recently they added Arduino simulator uh, for us to learn how to build circuits and programming without the need of the Arduino board All right okay why I went to here okay Anyway, so before we can use this, we need to sign up, uh, the usual sign up, right? So you, they will ask you about your country, your birthday, and then just click next, and uh, so and so. Once we are done with the sign up, once you are done with your sign up, not only me or we, we will proceed with login or sign in. Okay? It's a very straightforward uh, sign up, so I don't need to include here on my video. But if you have any problems of signing up, you just let me know. All right, like I said, um, uh, Tinkercad is last time at, uh, it's for 3D designs. If you want to create toy models, casing, or any prototype projects. So then uh, instead of using 3D designs, we will be using... Okay, let me just move this forward okay here yeah. uh, instead of using 3d designs we will be using circuits okay as our um, simulator so let us select circuits this one circuits then create new circuit all right now this will be our working space where we can select components so these are the components right here um, let me let me make this thing bigger okay let me adjust my screen first so that we can all see it all right okay so this will be our working sp space where we can select our components here uh, they are basic components they are all components and there are starters we want to use this uh, everything mm. and here is our code editor this is where we write our codes so this is where we do our programming <coughs> okay let's start we will try to build uh, or we will try to turn on and off the built-in LED from the Arduino Uno so let's find it uh, Arduino Uno from all components we can drag this up then find the Arduino Uno so revision 30 so it's under microcontrollers this one okay and we drag it here yeah all right and then this one will put it here for a while 
Okay, so this is our Arduino Uno. Mm. To know more about this, like I said, you can just go to the website and uh, learn about Arduino. Okay, so I'll leave it uh, to you all the introductions about Arduino here, all the definitions of Arduino. So if you notice here, if you go to your code editor here, there are some code or sketch that was written by the author of this uh, code. What this code does is to blink or to turn on and off the LED, the built-in LED. The built-in LED which is labeled here from our Arduino board as L. So this is the LED. This is a built-in LED. So that means it is attached to this board. We can turn on and off by using our code. So this is the code that we have right now. right? Let's try to run this code by clicking the start simulation. Yeah, here, start. Okay, let's, let me move down this for a while and then start simulation. And then you will notice that this USB board will be connected to the board of this. Uh, your USB cable will be connected to this board. And you will notice that this green color is on. That means your Arduino is powered up. Okay. Also, you notice that this built-in LED, like I said, will going to blink or turn on and off. Why is this LED is blinking every one second? On, off, on, off. Okay, it's because of the code that we have here. Okay, this is the responsible for why is this LED is blinking. Let's just stop the simulation for now. All right, so let's uh, try to examine each, each of this code and I will try to explain to you line by line. Okay, first line and second line. These are all comments, uh, right? So these are the single comments. So if I write down here, uh, this, is, this is a single, single comment, right? Oh my God, single comments. Uh, it's either you can do single comments like this one here, here, or you can do uh, multiple comments like this. Instead of doing the single comments, we will remove this. I think I deleted it here. Okay, so this is a single comments, each of this, and these are the multiple comments. This is. Uh, multiple comments so what are these comments for these comments are just a note to leave it for yourself as a programmer that the computer ignores it is not uh, it is not part of the program it is just to tell us it is it is there or you will write there to tell us what it this code does to us okay it's just a reminder even though it's not part of the program, but still, it's a good programming practice that you leave a comment so that it will remind you with whenever you want to open your code. All right, next. Next will be the first data type that I will introduce to you, the INT. Okay, what is INT? INT will hold the whole number. So this 13 is a whole number. So if the numbers are with decimal points, say 13.5 or 13. Or 13.0 or 13.5. 13.5 mm -hmm. is a float. You will use float instead of uh, int. You will be using float, right? Okay, uh, small letters. Float, right? Okay. Let's delete that. Leave it as int led is equal to 13. That means this 13 is, is an integer. It is a whole number. All right. So if the numbers are with decimal point, then you will use uh, float instead of int. So in this case, 13 is a whole number. That's why we use int, right? Okay? It's very straightforward. Uh, LED is the name that we give to the uh, LED, which is connected to pin number 13. Actually, this uh, built-in LED is connected to pin number 13 here, right? 
is actually connected here. So if you attach another LED here, they were going to both light each other. Later I'll show you uh, what am I talking about. Okay, for now, LED is the name of our uh, LED. We can name it as a LED1 also, whatever, okay? So it's just a name, LED2 or LED, LED built-in, okay? No, um, it is a name. Okay, I just leave it like uh, LED. <coughs> uh next one void void is uh it's also data, data types this use only in function declaration so setup is a function so void is to declare this setup function okay this is a it's a programming language okay. so it's like if you want to declare the setup in the loop here so uh Oh, so it's like if you want to declare this setup in the function loop, like uh, with this two, with an open and close parenthesis, okay? You will know that this is a function is because there is a open and close parenthesis, right? This one, this two, okay? These are functions. Why we need functions? The first reason is the reuse reusability. Once we define this function, once we define the function, it can be used repeatedly. It is when we need to perform the same action multiple times in program. We can call them if we want to use them, then it will perform the defined task. So uh, later on, after I explain to you the void loop, it will be, it will be much more clear to you. So this uh, set of code is pre-written pre that once we start the IDE, Mm, once we start the Arduino IDE software, this one here, okay? So this is uh, pre-written code. So every time you start your IDE, Arduino IDE, this one, they, they will give you this, okay? It's a pre-written code. There is a void setup, there is always a void setup, and there is always a void loop, okay? So it's pre-written. Okay, next one is setup. Mm, like I said, function. This is a function. Is uh, it is called when uh, when the sketch or when the code starts. Okay, when we on our Arduino or once we reset, uh, this setup will run. Okay, so this is a one-time setup only. Um, because we're going to set up the pin mode. This is another function. So pin mode. There is an open and close parenthesis here. So pin mode is a function also to use to initialize the pin. So this is a pin number 13, remember, right? This one, we declare that the LED is connected to pin number 13. We are saying that this LED is an output, okay? And uh, everything that we can see, feel, or hear is an output. So this is a light, this is a LED. We can see the light, so it's an output, right? So it configures this spe uh, specified pin. This is a specific pin, which is connected to pin number 13. So in this case, our LED is an output. Digital write. Um, where am I? Oh, void loop. Void loop uh, is another function. Uh, it is where we, this is where we do the magic, okay? It uh, runs and do the looping. Uh, okay, before that, this one, the bra uh, the braces or the brackets. Okay, this is uh, opening brackets, and these are the closed brackets. Uh, any code or sketch you write inside the bracket will be executed. So anything that is inside will be executed. This one also, there is a brackets here. All right. What else? Okay, loop function again is, uh, this is what the name suggests, this is what uh, this is where the magic is, uh, is, is ongoing, it allowing our program to change the state, whether it's a high or low. High meaning is on, low meaning is off, okay? Digital write. Digital write is also a function. That's why there's an opening and closed uh, parenthesis here. We are saying that this LED, we want to turn it on, okay? So digital write. It will is a function that will write high or low value on the digital pins. So if you say that this one is high, so he will turn on the LED. 
if you say that the LED is low, that means the LED will switch off. All right. I hope I get it right. Okay. So function a uh, loop function is what the name suggests, allowing our program to change the state either high or low. It is a loop routine. He will keep on doing this loop over and over again. So from high and then low, then high and low, high and low. The delay is 1000, so it's uh, in every second. Okay, so high and then one second he will switch off, and then one second he will turn high again. Okay, so he will do the loop. Uh, every line have a semicolon here. If you notice, there is a semicolon here, there is a semicolon there, there is a semicolon here, 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 here. Is to identify the ending of instruction. It is a must in every line. Alright? To know more about this, uh, this this uh, programming language you may visit Arduino website and check out the language reference here yeah. learning and then reference okay so they will explain to you all about the division of three main parts the structures the values and the functions all right okay uh, for my next video we will be doing uh, we will add more LEDs for us to play around so I'll see you then